Hello and welcome Aquarius. I am Pisces Intuition. Um, I am here with your Mercury Retrograde reading. So um, Mercury, we just entered retrograde. We will be there until March 10th. Uh, you know, Mercury is the planet of communication, of technology. And so while it's in retrograde, there tends to be all kinds of um, communication mishaps or, you know, even technology mishaps. Um, you know, all kinds of things, you know, there's going to be some kind of issues, you know, some kinds, um, sometimes setbacks, uh, you know, things like that. So let's go ahead and let's see what Mercury is bringing back for you. I'm going to go ahead and lower you guys down so you can see the cards. And, you know, Mercury is really kind of famous for um, bringing exes back. So, you know, that's not for everybody. I'm not saying everybody here is going to have their ex reach out. But, you know, I mean, I'm just saying it, it can happen. So just keep that in mind. Don't shoot the messenger if that comes out. All right. All right, so Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay. What is going on for Aquarius? What will Mercury Retrograde be bringing back? And you know, Mercury Retrograde, it really kind of has a way of bringing things back, you know, like cycles that need to be closed out, things that, you know, we really weren't paying attention to before or seeing before, maybe we were too busy, or, you know, just not acknowledging something that needed to be acknowledged. And so when Mercury goes retrograde, you know, like I said, it tends to really kind of bring those things, you know, back to the forefront. All right, I'm filling this one. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Wands, which is that, you know, wounded warrior, but not giving up um, card. All right, so Aquarius, you have Nine of Cups. You have a judgment, you have ten of pentacles, and you have the ten of cups. Wow. So Aquarius, definitely by far the luckiest that I have done um, tonight. Absolutely beautiful. So let me go ahead. I don't know why that is. Okay. Well, hopefully that's not too bad. Um, all right, so we do have, like I said, the Nine of Cups, and we have Judgment. This could be you making um, a pretty big judgment call within your life um, that really kind of ultimate, ultimately leads you on a path to your happiness. Um, this could be you, you know, Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. You know, that is, you know, happiness. That's, like I said, wish fulfillment, just really kind of living your dream, you know, um, something that you wanted really kind of coming into fruition for you. And like I said, with this judgment call or judgment card, it's making that judgment call. It's making that big decision that's going to ultimately lead you down a road um, towards this Ten of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles is, you know, um, not only financially up on financial. See what I mean? Mer Mercury retrograde. I can't talk. Um, then again, can I ever really talk? <laughs> um, Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is, again, um, this is a family card. This is um, financial abundance. This is just, you know, this is overall just feeling very abundant, you know, grow, being able to kind of grow things. You know, it's like you've been growing um, a steady foundation for quite some time, and now it's time to enjoy these things. This, again, could be starting a family. This could be, um, you know, your marriage for some of you that are married. It's like things that are kind of finally looking up. You know, maybe it's been kind of rocky. Um, but it's things, like I said, kind of looking up, uh, well, really looking up and then 10 of cups, you know, this is emotional abundance again. Um, you know, both cards show, you know, the family on there, they showed kids, they show, um, you know, just abundance. They show loving couples, you know, so Aquarius, um, for some of you, for a lot of you out there, I should say, you know, you are really going to have a pretty good retrograde. Um, I'm not seeing any issues, um, you know, I just get overall that things are just going to kind of flow smooth for you. Like I said, you do have a big decision to make. Now, for some of you, this judgment card, this could be somebody reaching out to you. You know, um, the judgment card tends to be that card. Um, usually it's, 
the um, Gabriel blowing his horn while, you know, what you thought was dead is actually being resurrected, you know, being brought back. So with this judgment card, it could be something that you thought was long gone, something that you thought didn't have a chance. This could be a relationship. This could be, um, you know, something that you wanted to come into fruition, a dream of yours, you know, something that you really put <clears throat> planted seeds for, put work into, but then, you know, you were just like, he kind of gave up hope on like, is this ever even going to happen? Um, during retrograde it happens. So, and you know, don't freak out because you know, it's happening during mercury retrograde because we're all, you know, we're always told don't sign contracts, don't make big decisions during retrograde. Um, you know, definitely try to, avoid, you know, big, um, business issues, you know, buying a house, buying a car, you know, things like that during retrograde. Um, but with this, it's like you were working on this before we got into mercury retrograde. So you're going to be fine. You know, these, um, gifts, whatever's coming into fruition, like I said, that's going to provide financial and emotional abundance. You know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's all because of the work that you put in. Like I said, this is independence. This is wish fulfillment. This is just smooth sailing. Um, you know, it's like whatever, it's like you really put in, going back to the bottom of the card, that nine of wands, it's like you really put in the work. You know, you really, um, you know, you weren't giving up. So, yeah. But now for those of you, like I said, that could be a, um, a situation, could possibly be an ex coming back. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands. So we also have the Eight of Cups. So it could have been someone walking away, but still not ready to kind of give up on the situation. And so we have them coming back. Um, Three of Pentacles. This could be someone that you worked with, someone you worked well with. Or, you know, they, like I said, they think that you work well with them. And so they weren't ready to let go of the situation. And therefore, they're going to be reaching out to you, you know, wanting uh, to kind of come back. So again, just taking how it resonates, it's going to resonate differently for everybody. Um, for others of you, like I said, um, at the end of the day, it's something that you put work into, not so much a person, but something that you put work into that is coming into fruition for you. And it's going to be beautiful. Um, again, then for the other part of you guys, it's going to be someone from the past that you thought was long gone. And, you know, even though you wanted them to reach out, you'd hope that one day they would reach out. It's like Mercury retrograde is kind of bringing them back in. They're going to be, um, you know, throwing some communication your way. And, you know, it looks like I said, good times up ahead. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's get a Moonology card for Aquarius. Okay. Moonology, Aquarius, and Retrograde. Okay, we have three come out. We have your dreams need a practical plan. So um, full moon in Taurus. So, you know, again, this is something you've been working on for quite some time. And so, you know, now it's like you figured out a way to, um, for them to come into fruition. Like I said, it's, um, but it involves, again, making a big decision. Um, but definitely don't let your past hold you back. That's a south node. And then we have step out of your comfort zone, north node. So we have, you know, the complete opposites here. We have um, north and south here for you. So again, think opposites. Um, you know, stepping out of that comfort zone. Um, you know, because you don't want to let the past hold you back. You want to move forward. You want this to come in fruition. You don't want to stop yourself. You don't want to get in your own way. You know, you don't want to... Um, Now's not the time for self-doubt is what I keep getting. So, you know, definitely, like I said, step out of that comfort zone. Um, you know, your dreams, I see them coming into fruition. It's just they need, you know, more of a practical plan. But it's like you figure that out because um, the judgment card here. All right. And then again, we talk, we have opposite. Well, not really opposites, but sun and stars. So it's like something comes into light for you during retrograde that really, again, gives you this brilliant idea to um, move forward with this. But, you know, again, it could involve you stepping out of that comfort zone, you know, and not letting anything hold you back. So, all right, let's go ahead and get a chakra card. All right, so let's go ahead and get a chakra card here. 
for Aquarius. Okay, so we have the root chakra, and this is talking about family. This is card number two, and it's talking about belonging, community, culture, and tribe. So what I'm getting for this is, this is, you know, going back to the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Again, those are family cards. This is a way to take care of your family, you know, both financially and, um, you know, emotionally to where you guys are able to really feel that abundance and to not worry so much. You know, I think the road's been kind of long, been kind of, um, you know, bumpy. And... It's like now things are coming into light. Things are really kind of, um, like I said, it's like you're getting the answer to something to help those seeds kind of come into fruition that you've been planting long ago. Um, this could have been, let's see. I don't know. It could have been <clears throat> maybe possibly up to nine months ago or something that you planted, you know, these um, seeds. And like I said, you're waiting for them to come into fruition because ultimately this is going to be um, the means to take care of your family. This could be starting a new business. This could be, um, you know, something that, like I said, something that you planted that you're trying to get off the ground that is ultimately going to bring you, you know, abundance and emotionally, stability, you know, financially, things like that. So, all right, um, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you guys again soon.